My dad came to Canada in 1968, met my mom, right? So he, was, he started a Filipino business, the first person to start a Filipino business in Canada in 1968. Because he, well, he had a lot of Filipino friends, they wanted to bring food. He bought Tocino, Loganesa, Tanegi, Pusiet, everything. And then he was the first one to bring his favorite in the world, bongos, the death fish. There's a million bones in the f***ing fish. He can't get enough of it. Here's my dad every Sunday morning. Number one fish from the Philippines, milk fish. Number one! <laughs> Call the doctor. <laughs> and the cats look at him like. <laughs> he bought, he bought, <laughs> he bought bangos and he bought balot. And he sold it to white people and told them it was regular eggs. <laughs> Can you imagine the white people frying egg in the morning? <laughs> I was a messed up kid when I was six years old. I was a prankster. I would take a cooked bullet from home, bring it to school, put it under a tree, take the head halfway out of the bullet to make it look like it fell from the f***ing nest. <laughs> Just to see the kids gather, oh my god, a baby bird just fell from the tree. It's so sad. I walk in, how much would you pay me to eat it? <laughs> I made a hundred dollars for one bullet. My dad took me, bring me to school, you will do it again. You're a genius. <laughs> They had this on Fear Factor, that Joe Rogan show. This guy wouldn't eat balut, 50,000 American dollars. My dad was like, that's bullshit. I have two in my pocket right now. 50,000, better essay. I really love you guys because most of the comics, we all love you so much because we be